Using the employment information in the table, find the mean years of service for the group data. Now, when they say group data, what they mean is, is that we don't have the individual uh, information. We've taken uh, the individual information and put it into uh, a table by categories. For instance, there are five people who have between one and five years of service. We don't actually know whether it's four, or three and a half, or five, or 1.7 or whatever. We just know there are five values between one and five. We know there are six, uh, excuse me, 20 people between six with between six and 10 years of service, 25 people between 11 and 15 years of service, 10 people between 16 and 20 years of service, another five between 21 and 25 years of service, and three people have years of service between 26 and 30. Now the question is, how do you calculate an average if you don't have the individual data points? And the answer is you do you, you do your best educated guess, and we've talked about this before. But the best the best guess is just to say that everybody has the average as their number of years of service. Now we're not saying that that's exactly right, but we're saying that's the best that you could guess. So what we do to solve this problem is we find the average of the uh, endpoints of the interval and use that as the number of years of service. Even though we don't suspect that's going to be exactly right, it's about the best we can do with limited information. So in other words, I want to take the years of service, I'll call it YOS, years of service, and find the average within each interval. So I want to take, for instance, um, 1 and 5 and average them. So that gives me 6 divided by 2 is 3. So instead of using one, the interval 1 through 5, I'm going to assume that all five of those people had three years of service. Then I do the same thing for this one. I go between 6 and 10, so I take 6 and 10 and add them up, divide by 2, that's 16 halves, which is 8. So I'm going to assume that all 20 of these people had 8 years of service. And I play that game all the way down. So I take 11 and 15 and average them. So that's 26 halves, so there's 13. So I'm assuming all 25 of those people in that interval had 13 years of service. Then I do the same thing for 16 and 20. So I add them up, divide by 2, that's 36 halves, which is 18. So I assume that they all had 18 years of service. Then I take 21 and 25 and average them. That's 46 halves, so that would be 23. So I assume that all five of those people had 23 years of service. And last but not least, I do 26 and 30 and average them. That gives me 56 divided by 2 is 28. So I assume that all three of those people had 28 years of service. So I know it's not right, but the average years of service within each interval is the best I can do as an estimate since I don't know the exact values. So now we're back to a problem that we've solved in the past. We take the values which are represented by the average years of service and put them into the calculator the number of times indicated by the frequency. So I'm going straight to the calculator here. First of all, I hit on to clear things out, make sure I don't have anything stuck in there that I'm not aware of. Then I put it in stats mode by hitting mode, period, and you'll notice the little SD popping up in the upper right corner. Always look for that to make sure you're in the stats mode. And then you enter these numbers. Now, there is a shortcut for doing this, and I've used it a couple of times in previous examples, but I'll I'll not assume that you've seen that before and I'll, I'll take my time with this again. If I want to enter this number 3 five times, one way of doing it is just to hit M plus five times. M plus once enters it once, twice enters it twice, three times three, four times four, five times five. That's one way to do it. But now when I get to 8, I've got to do it 20 times. That's a lot of pressing in plus. There is a shortcut, and here's how it works. You take the number you want to enter. So the next number I want to enter is an 8, but I want it in there 20 times. So I go ahead and put the 8, and instead of pressing M plus 20 times, which would work, there's a little trick. You just say times, hit the, hit the X key, which is the times, 
and then how many times you want it repeated times 20. Now that's not actually doing the multiplication. When you're in the stats mode, it's not taking 8 times 20. It's taking 8, and as soon as you press M plus, it's going to enter that 8 for you 20 times. So I press M plus, and it took that 8 and put it in there 20 times. So see how much faster that is? And then I do 13 and do it 25 times. And again, you can see how much of a time saver this is. So I hit 13. I want it to go in there 25 times, so I do times 25. It's not actually multiplying. That's just a trick that the calculator knows um, what you mean by. So if when I put M plus, that 13 is going to be inserted in there 25 times automatically. And now it's in there. Then I do the same thing for 18. I want it in there 10 times, so I took times 10 and hit M plus, and that takes 18 and sticks it in there 10 times. Then I go down to 23. I want it 5 times, so 23 times 5. That tells it to put 23 in there 5 times. Hit M plus. It does it. And last but not least, 28 3 times, so 28 times 3, and hit M plus, and it puts it in there 3 times. Now, it should be done. It would certainly make me feel a lot better to know that I didn't miss one. So one thing you can do is count these frequencies and see how many numbers should be in there. That's 25, and 25 is 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. So there are a total of 68 numbers that should be in there. And there's a way to check it. If you do Shift-6, uh, if you look at the Shift key, there's a little N. That means the number of... Uh, entries. So if you do shift 6 you get the number of entries and you notice you have 68 and it should be 68 so that makes me feel really much better about uh, any keystroke errors I might have made. Well now that I feel pretty good that I've got all 68 numbers in there to find the um, mean years of service I simply go to the calculator, x bar is the mean, and x bar is above the 7. So I do shift 7, and that tells me that the mean of this group data is 12 point, and let's just suppose we wanted it to the 10th place, it would be 12.9. And you just have to listen to the problem as to how the answer should be rounded, but I'm going to assume here we want it rounded to the nearest tenth.